Welcome to the City of Madison's How to Recycle video and podcast. I know there are a lot of people out there that think you have to be a genius to figure out what to recycle and how to do it. But I'm here to tell you that recycling in the Madison program is really simple and I'm going to show you how it works. The most important thing to know is what to recycle and we're going to start by walking you through all the different materials and types of things that you can recycle in the Madison curbside program. Let's start with glass. In our program we'll take green, clear, and brown glass bottles and jars. Remember bottles and jars only. Do not put in broken dishware, broken drinking glasses, windows, mirrors, picture frames. If it's not a bottle and it's not a jar, throw it away. What we'll recycle are going to be bottles and jars in any color. Now it's important also to remember that you'll see some glass that has a plastic coating on, a plastic label over the top, that's fine. Put that right in your recycling cart and we can take care of that. The next item we're going to talk about is steel, or what we probably call tin cans. We can recycle things like coffee cans, soup cans, pet food cans, all of those can go in your recycling cart. Now from your coffee can, you want to throw away the plastic cover. But we can take those lids that you cut off your steel cans. Those can be recycled. You can put those right into your recycling cart and they'll get recycled right along with the coffee cans and the soup cans and the pet food cans. Now you're going to find some pet food cans and some cans for vegetables that have a white liner inside. Don't worry about that white liner. Cans with that white liner can be recycled. Just put them right inside your cart. Now you don't have to remove the labels from your steel cans. But if you do, put that label right into the recycling cart and it'll be recycled. Another steel can that we can recycle is an empty aerosol can. Just make sure it's empty and put it in the green cart. Next, we have aluminum cans. Pretty simple. You've got aluminum soda cans, and now we are seeing these new aluminum bottle-shaped can, this aluminum beer bottle. That can be recycled, whether it's red, blue, green. You can put that aluminum beer bottle into your recycling can, and then aluminum cans for water, beer, soda, that can go right into your recycling cart. Another thing that we can recycle for aluminum are pie pans and cake pans, those heavy aluminum foil pans. Those can be recycled. Just make sure you clean them out first. If you can't get it clean, throw it away. While we can take those pans, we can't take aluminum foil. So that regular tear-off aluminum foil that gets thrown away. That takes care of aluminum. Now is where it starts to get tricky. The most complicated thing in our program is knowing what kind of plastic you can recycle. The easy part is that you can recycle any plastic bottle. If it's a bottle, you don't have to go searching at the bottom for a number. You can take any plastic bottle and put it in your recycling cart. But before you do that, make sure you remove the lids and throw the lids away. So any kind of plastic bottle, milk jug, shampoo, we've got some vitamin bottles here, detergent, bleach, other kinds of cleaning products. This is vinegar, cooking oil. All of those plastic bottles can be recycled. Also other cleaning products, floor soap, you can recycle those spray bottles. Make sure though with the spray bottle again that you remove that sprayer, throw that away, and we can recycle the bottle. Now, we also do something kind of unusual here in Madison. We recycle certain kinds of tubs. What we recycle are dairy tubs and dairy tubs only. 
What's a dairy tub? It's a container that's had a dairy product in it. So it can be margarine, butter, ice cream, sour cream, cottage cheese, ricotta cheese, cream cheese. We can recycle those if they have a number two or a number five on the bottom. One more thing, as if plastic recycling wasn't starting to get a little complicated, you will look in your dairy case or your freezer case and you will see that there are some frozen juice concentrates that come in plastic containers. Both of these containers can be recycled. This clear one will be what we call PET or number one and this solid one will be number two. Both of these frozen juice concentrate containers can be recycled. What we will not recycle are other deli tubs. You know, you get potato salad, coleslaw from the deli case. We can't recycle it. You'll go to the produce section and you will see containers for berries. Strawberries, raspberries, blueberries are in a clear plastic container. Some tomatoes come in that same container. We cannot recycle those. The reason we can't is that while the basic plastic resin is the same, they have different additives in them that cause those plastics to melt at different temperatures. And they can't be mixed in with the bottle stream. And most of the recycling infrastructure is set up to recycle bottle plastic because bottle plastic is the highest quality and the most versatile. And so that's why it can be recycled. So remember, no berry containers, none of those plastic clamshells you get when you buy a small appliance at the store. We can't take any of those. We can't take hard plastic jewel cases from your CDs. We cannot take old plastic toys. None of those things can be recycled. Take those and throw them out. That covers all the containers that we can recycle. Glass, aluminum, steel, and plastic. Now, we're going to talk about the component of our recycling stream that makes up the most tons, paper. Let's go take a look at the different kinds of paper products that you can put in your green recycling cart in the city of Madison. The city of Madison will recycle almost any kind of paper in our curbside collection program. Our biggest recycling item is newspaper. In fact, Madison was the first city in the country with a curbside recycling program when we started recycling newspapers in 1968. When I say newspapers, I'm talking about your entire newspaper. Everything that comes with the paper, including glossy inserts, those can all be recycled. So if it comes with your paper, you can recycle it with your newspaper. We also can recycle catalogs, timetables, and other items that are printed on what we call ground wood paper. That's the paper that newspaper is printed on. One thing that's printed on ground wood paper that we're all familiar with is a phone book. We recycle phone books in our program. We've always done that, but we used to be able to take them only in January and February. Now, if you have an old phone book you want to get rid of, you can put it in your green recycling cart any time of year. Recycle your phone books whenever you want to by putting them in your green recycling cart. Next, we come to magazines and catalogs. Lots of magazines and catalogs that come into our houses. We can recycle all of those. Along with your magazines and catalogs, we can also recycle things like sports programs. Anything that's printed up like this in glossy paper. Now you'll find some catalogs are very thick. We can recycle a catalog, but this resembles a large format paperback book. We can't recycle paperback books. Why? Because the binding is different. It's not water soluble. And we need to have a water soluble binding, which you find in catalogs, but not in paperback books. Near the end of this video, we will give you an address where you can take paperback and hardcover books to be recycled. But don't put them in your green recycling cart. If they go in your green recycling cart, they'll get thrown away. They won't be recycled. So, we get to magazines. Next, mail. Junk mail. Even mail you want to get. When you're done, we'll recycle it. We can recycle lots of what we call mixed paper. 
Your mixed paper could be a newsletter. It could be a window envelope. That's okay. We can recycle these glossy window envelopes. Any of your envelopes you could put in here, including manila ones. There is one exception for envelopes. Some envelopes are stuffed. They have either plastic bubble wrap or some stuffed paper in the envelope. These padded envelopes cannot be recycled. You should take a padded envelope, throw it away. We won't recycle those. But other manila envelopes we can. Some other things you might not be aware of that fall into this mixed paper category are things like receipts. Receipts from the grocery store, receipts from the bank, receipts from the hardware store. All those receipts, receipts from fast food restaurants. All your receipts can go right in with your mixed paper and we'll recycle it. This is where you can put in your labels from your cans. Again, you don't have to take those off, but you can do that. One caution, inside a lot of junk mail, you will find things that aren't paper. You might find a CD. You might find something metallic and glossy like this. If it's not paper, that you take and throw away. But if it's paper, we'll take it and we'll get it recycled. One other paper item that you should be aware of are paper bags. We recycle paper grocery bags like this one. We can recycle any color paper bag. Not the bakery bags, though, that have the wax coating on it. Those we don't want. But your regular paper bags we can. And those fast food bags, those you can bring home and recycle as well. As long as you're just recycling the bag and the receipt. Don't recycle the fast food wrappers themselves. But we'll be more than happy to recycle the bag. That covers the wide array of paper that we recycle. What do you have to do with all this paper? Well, you take all this paper and you put it right in your green recycling cart along with the bottles and cans. It all goes into the same cart. You don't have to sort it. You don't have to keep it separate. As you generate it, put it right inside the cart. The next item on our list of things for your green Madison recycling cart is cardboard. Paper makes up the largest amount of material that we collect, but the bulkiest, hardest to recycle things are cardboard. Let's show you what we take for cardboard because it is important to recycle as much cardboard as you can. Keep it out of the landfill, turn it into valuable products. First thing we do are car regular cardboard boxes, what we call box board. Cereal boxes, cell phone boxes. Most of these boxes are food boxes. You want to take out the inside wrapper in there, that plastic or foil bag that's in there, and throw that away. But recycle your cereal boxes, your cracker boxes, your cookie boxes. All of those things can be recycled. Another thing you might not think of is the toilet paper roll. Toilet paper and paper towel rolls are made out of good recyclable cardboard. But remember, don't recycle things like paper napkins and paper towels and tissue paper. That stuff you throw away. However, the roll cores from your paper towels and from your toilet paper and the boxes, once they're empty from your Kleenex, can be recycled. The one thing I get the most calls about recycling are pizza boxes. Can we recycle pizza boxes? The answer to that question is maybe. It depends on what it looks like on the inside. Now, if you look at this box, you'll see lots of grease and food stains on the bottom. But the top is clean. Which one do you think we can recycle? Ha! You're right, the top. We can't recycle the bottom, but we can recycle the top. So what you do with this, just tear off the top, recycle the top, take this grease-stained bottom, throw it away. Sometimes you'll find that the top has a lot of food stuck to it. Again, think about it. We're not going to be recycling old cheese, we're recycling the cardboard. Throw it away. If you don't think it's clean enough to recycle, toss it. But if it is clean, we'll be more than happy to recycle the clean parts of your pizza boxes. Finally, corrugated cardboard. 
This is the thing that will cause most people the biggest problem because you have to get it to fit inside your recycling cart. So you want to take cardboard boxes, flatten them, and fold them or cut them to make them fit inside your cart. If you have too much cardboard to fit inside that cart or it's just too big to get in there, take the cardboard, flatten it, fold it, and then tie it in bundles six inches in height or less and place those bundles on the ground next to your green recycling cart and we will pick it up that way. Remember, if you can't get it to fit inside your cart and you have too much, then you can flatten it and tie it in a bundle and put it next to your cart. However, you should know that if you regularly have too much cardboard, you need to consider getting a, a larger cart or purchasing a second cart because we only want to pick up stuff outside the cart on occasion because the whole idea behind the automated recycling program is efficiency that, so that the drivers do not have to get out of their vehicles to unload and load material. So remember that. Now that we've shown you what to put in your green recycling cart, let's go outside and I'll show you where you should put your cart on collection day. So now that we have the cart full, we're going to take it out at the curb. There's a couple of things that are real important to remember when you're putting your cart out at the curb. The most common mistake we encounter are people who put their cart out backwards. When you bring your cart out to the curb, make sure that the open end of the lid faces the street. That means that the handles and the wheels will be facing your house. So, open end of the lid facing the street, the handles and the wheels back facing your house. That's the best way to put your cart at the curb. Another thing that's real important to remember is you want to keep your cart four feet away from any obstructions. Mailboxes, light poles, trees, you want to keep your cart four feet away from those. That gives our collection arm plenty of room to come out from the truck, grab the cart, pick it up, dump it, and put it back again. So, face your cart in the right direction and keep it four feet away from any obstructions. If you recycle the things that we've talked about today, putting all those things in your green recycling cart, you'll help keep Madison one of the leading recycling communities in the country. Through our recycling and composting efforts, we keep over 57.7% of our waste stream out of the landfill. Now, there are some things that you can recycle, but not in the green carts. Let's spend a couple of seconds talking about those. Earlier, I mentioned paperback books and hardcover books. Those can be taken to the Madison Recycling Center. That's a private firm located at 2200 Fish Hatchery Road. Their phone number is 251-2115. In addition to taking hardcover books and paperbacks, they'll also take those old encyclopedias that you've been trying to find a home for, and they will get them recycled. The City of Madison operates four waste oil recycling sites. If you change your motor oil at home, we have a place where you can take them and get them recycled. And we'll also recycle your oil filters. Here are the locations of our waste oil sites. We also have recycling programs for scrap metal, scrap lumber, and cooking oil. You can take those items to one of our two drop-off sites. They're located at 1501 West Badger Road on the south side and 4602 Sycamore Avenue on the east side. You can get complete information about when those sites are open and about all of our other recycling programs by going to our website, www.cityofmadison.com streets. That's cityofmadison.com streets. Or you could call me, 
Recycling Coordinator George Dreckman at 267-2626. Our goal is to make Madison one of the most sustainable communities in the country. And one way we can all do that is by recycling. I hope you found this video to be very informative. And I look forward to having you as a full participant in our curbside recycling program.